Hey, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. Have you been wanting to learn how to crochet? Looking for a simple beginner's project that you can start out with? I've got the perfect project for you. Stay tuned and we're going to learn how to make this simple beginner's crochet scarf. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bells to get notifications for when I post new videos. So guys, by day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today we're going to learn how to make a crochet scarf. So what you're going to need for this project is a skein of medium weight yarn. And I use two different crochet hooks. I start out my chain with a K hook, and then the rest of my project I complete with a J hook. I do this just because I tend to chain a little bit tightly and so if you notice that your chains are really tight you might want to move up a crochet hook size. So let's get ourselves situated and get started. So you're going to need your yarn and your K hook or your J hook depending on how tightly you chain and what I usually do is I start pulling from the center of my skein. If you can center pull from your skein, it's going to make your life a lot easier when you're going to crochet. Sometimes you might have to dig in there to find that end. Uh, this skein was really nice in that it was just hanging out there and I could start pulling. So the first thing we need to do is make a slip knot. So to make a slip knot, I simply take about six inches of yarn and drape it down. I go around my index finger down and come on back up. So now I need to take this side of the yarn and cross it over. So I simply cross it over like that. Now this tail piece needs to come up right where my index finger is. So I'm gonna go right through where my index finger was and I'm gonna pull and make, whoops, make my slip knot here. So now to tighten it, I pull on the side of the yarn that's still attached to my skein if that went a little too fast, you can check out my video on how to slip knot and chain and crochet. I'll include a link to it in the description below. So now I need to put my K hook onto my yarn and I'm gonna pull a little bit extra because it just makes life easier when you have some coming out. And we're gonna chain. So now to start this scarf off, we need to chain 150 chains. So you're gonna have to bear with me, I'll go kind of fast here. Uh, but let's chain 150. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So now we have our chain of 150. Now we need to join it. Now the key to joining is I need to make sure not to twist my chain. So what I do is I hold on here. I just keep moving my hand down the chain, keeping pressure so that my chain doesn't twist and I get the correct end here. See, it wanted to twist there and I could feel it. So I'm just gonna gently turn it and just go slow. So that way I don't end up with a twisted scarf here. So then I come down to the end. Now I'm gonna take my hook, I'm gonna place it right in here and then I'm going to slip stitch these together. So to slip stitch, I yarn over, pull through the chain, and then pull through the loop that's on my hook. So now I have my chain in a circle and I've got it slip stitched together so it's not twisted. So let's go on to row two. Okay, so we are on to round two or row two of my scarf. So the first thing I need to do is I take my K hook out because the remainder of this scarf is gonna be done using a J hook. Again, I use a K hook to chain simply because I chain a little bit tightly. So I wanna make sure I have a nice loose chain for my scarf. So now the rest of this scarf is gonna be made using a J hook. If you don't chain tightly, you can use a J hook for the entire thing, totally up to you. So I'm gonna take my J hook and put it in that loop. Now I need to chain four to start row two. So I go one, two, three, four. If you're not quite sure how to chain, you can check out my video on how to slip knot and chain, and it'll show you that move in more detail and in, at a slower pace. So now we are going to place treble crochets in every single chain all the way around this circle here. And my first treble crochet is gonna go right here in this spot. 
So here's my chain four. So my first treble crochet is going right here. Now with this, I want to have two legs of that chain on top and one on bottom. A lot of times when you go into a chain, you're just gonna pick up one leg. For this pattern, I want two legs. So two legs of that chain on top and one on the bottom. So now I yarn over, pull through that chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. If you're not quite sure how to do the treble crochet stitch, check out my video on how to treble crochet. I take it a lot slower and show it in more detail in that video. So if you're confused about how to treble crochet, check that video out. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Okay, so now we're ready here. We're gonna go right here. Oh, I went to do a double crochet. Make sure you yarn over twice for your treble crochet. So now we're gonna treble crochet in each chain all the way around. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit here. And then we're gonna go to the next one, keeping your chain straight, it's gonna to wanna to twist on you, so you really have to make sure that you twist it up. So it's again trying to twist on me, so I need to make sure I twist it up here. We're gonna put a treble crochet here. And then my very last treble crochet is kinda of gonna go in a weird little spot right here, just in this little hole right here in the middle is where I'm going right here. So I'm going to yarn over twice, pop it right in there, and complete my treble crochet. So now I have treble crocheted all the way around my circle. Now I need to join here, right here at the last. And we're gonna go into the top of my chain four from the very first part of this row. So I'm going right here. So if you look closely, here's my chain four that started out this row. We're going right here into this top chain. And I wanna pick up these kind of two loops right here. I want them to be on top. So I'll bring it closer so you can see. So I'm just gonna go right here is where I'm going. So here's this top V and we're going right here, getting two legs on top. To complete the slip stitch, I yarn over, pull through that first or through the top of the chain four and then pull through the loop that's on my hook. And that is a slip stitch to finish row two. Okay, so now we need to begin row three of our crochet scarf. So to begin this row, we need to chain four. So what that looks like is one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna put our first treble crochet right here into this same stitch. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go treble crochet. All right, now we're gonna go into the next stitch so we're looking at the tops of the stitches right here is where we're going. And we're gonna place our treble crochet. So we're going right here in this little hole right here is where we're gonna go. So we're gonna to continue to treble crochet all the way around our circle here. So let's keep going. So we have now here three treble crochets left to do for this row. So I'll slow it down here. Here's one. There's two. Again, notice I'm going right above this bar and below the top two legs. We're going right in that hole there is where I've placed every single treble crochet all the way around. So now we are ready to join, so we're at this point here. We need to join to form the round here, and we're gonna go right into this chain stitch right here. I'll bring it up a little bit closer for you to see. We're going right here into this chain stitch is where we're going to slip knot, or slip stitch, sorry. So we're gonna go right here. I get two legs on top and one on bottom, and I go through and go through, and then I pull it tight, and that closes that round. So we are now done with round three of our crochet scarf. Okay, so now we are ready to complete row four of our scarf. So to begin, we need to chain four for this row to get it started. So one, two, three, four. So now we are gonna 
treble crochet into each stitch all the way across and right into the tops of the stitches. So if you can see, it's this little tiny hole right here where we're going. So we're gonna yarn over twice. We're gonna go right in there, yarn over, yarn over, yarn over, yarn over. So now again, we're gonna go right here. We're gonna yarn over twice, go into the small hole. We're gonna continue treble crocheting all the way around this scarf. So let's get going here. So now I need to join, I'm gonna slip stitch to join this round and I'm gonna go right into this top stitch of that chain four right here. So one, two, three, four, right there is where I'm going. So I'm gonna pop my hook through there, yarn over, pull through that chain stitch and pull through the loop on my hook. And there I have completed row four of my scarf. Okay, so now we're ready to work on row five of our scarf. So just like the previous rows, we need to chain four. So one, two, three, four. And yet again, we're gonna place a treble crochet in each and every stitch all the way ac around the scarf. So now I need to join this row and just like the previous ones, I'm gonna join into the top of this chain four that we began the row with. So there's one, two, three, this fourth chain right here is where I'm going to slip stitch into. So again, I just take, pop it into that fourth chain, I pull the yarn through that chain and then through the loop that was on my hook and that completes row five. All right, so now we are ready for row six of our scarf. So just like the previous rows, we're gonna chain four. So one, two, three, four, and yet again. Again, this scarf is super easy and it's a great beginner's project because it literally is the same stitch all the way around for every single row. You start with a chain. If you can chain, if you can treble crochet, and if you can slip stitch, you can make this scarf. So again, treble crochet is going into each stitch around. All right, so now we're ready to join this row with a slip stitch. So just like all the previous rows here, we're gonna go into the top of this chain four. So right here is where we're going. So I'm gonna take my hook, pop it through there, go through that chain, go through that loop, and that completes row six. Okay, so we're gonna go on to row seven. So just like all the previous rows, we need to chain four to start this row to get it to the proper height. So one, two, three, and four. So now again, we're gonna treble crochet in each and every stitch all the way across. And then just like previous rows, we're gonna slip stitch into the top of the chain four. So right in this little chain right here, we'll place our hook, whoops. One, two, three, four, right here. We're gonna slip stitch through that. And then stay tuned, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you quickly how to finish off your scarf. We're almost done. Okay, so now we need to just finish off our scarf and weave in some ends. So to do this, I take and I cut and free my scarf from my, the rest of the skein. Now I take my hook and I need to basically just fasten off. So I do this by yarning. I'll bring it a little bit closer here. I do this by yarning over, rotating down, and then just pulling through that loop. Take my hook off and then just pull that loop nice and tight. So now we need to weave in our ends. So I take a tapestry needle and I'm gonna put my yarn right through the eye of that needle. And then I'm going to work my end basically. And so I, for me, I take, and I'm gonna go right down this neighboring chain right here, or sorry, treble crochet, get my terminology correct. I'm gonna pull through, pull it down, gently, not too hard, because we don't want a huge indent. Okay, I also like to weave in a little bit more. I like to go in a different direction, so I'll go sideways maybe. 
and then I'm gonna loop up and go right back up. So I've kind of created a U shape here, and hopefully, no matter how it is pulled on, this scarf is pulled on, it'll uh, hold together. So I kind of straighten everything out. Now I'm gonna take and clip my yarn off there. Now the last thing we have to do is right here, we need to finish off and weave in this last end. So we'll put the yarn on there. So same thing, this was our starting tail. So I'll bring it up so you can see. I'm just gonna weave in my ends, pull, again tight but not too tight. And then again, I'm gonna, I like to do the little U kind of pattern. That way I feel like no matter the direction, we're gonna have that tail that stays hidden in our yarn. So we're just gonna pull right on through there. Take off my tapestry needle, pull everything kind of even, and then I'm gonna just clip that yarn as well. So there you have your scarf. We're done. We've got seven rows of crochet here and a nice, I like to wrap it kind of in an infinity shape here. So I'll wrap it kind of like that and wear it just like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed making this scarf. Give me some feedback, let me know, share pictures with me um, on social media if you've made these, if you've made this scarf and just kind of keep in contact.